Can you hear us okay? I guess it's the first question. Can you see us okay? Is the stream okay? Is there any delays or lags or anything like that at all? Um, so drop us a little note. Can you hear us okay? Yes, no, no, yes. Anybody? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear us okay? Hopefully you can. So, you should be able to, he says. Anybody there? Drop us a little note in the comments. Yeah, we're definitely live. I'm not sure anybody's there though. It says we've got three viewers, so I'm just trying to check if you actually can hear us okay and see us okay. Is there anybody there? Oh. Jordan. And Helen's there as well. Can she can you can you can you see us okay? Yes? Can you hear us okay? Yes, no? <laughs> Drop us a note, let us know. You know, can you hear us? Yes? You know, can you see us? So Helen, can you see us? Or Jordan, can you see us? <laughs> Somebody tell us if you can see us or not. Yeah, Hopefully can. Out, make sure it's not a car crash. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Yeah, gosh. No. Right, okay. Here we are. We're 11 minutes into, into the live. I think it's something ridiculous of a start now. So, okay. So, we did this last, um, about two weeks ago, two didn't weeks we? Ago, yeah. So, we, we had we our trip Moscow. to Moscow. Um, we're doing something a bit different today. As you can see, technology-wise, hopefully on the screen, you can see something a bit different. You know, we're trying something a bit different here. So, um just to give you a sense of what we're talking about so you've got that you know but we can also kind of show you you know um some other information as well hopefully he says um so let's just go back to the main screen i'm just trying this is that what they can see or is that what they can see? that's what they can see on there right so um So hopefully, you can see us. We will get better at this, guys, I promise. Um, so that's what they're seeing then, that, that right, screen. Okay. Right, okay. So, this right. is Simon's little baby, so. Yeah, yeah, we, we did a few weeks, so we did it live a couple of weeks ago. Um, we just did a traditional Facebook Live, but we want to try and uh, obviously get into uh, YouTube as well, don't we? So, yeah. you know, so we wanted to try, but we didn't want to do it twice. Um, so we found this technology um, that lets us do it to both at the same time. So, um, what we're going to do today is we want to answer some questions. We've had some questions come in again. I love the way that people send questions in, but then they don't ask them when they're on the live. So, but thank you for the questions. It's much appreciated. So, we're going to go through and answer those questions and hopefully try and uh, give you guys some information. Can we just say um, as well, we've got cameras everywhere. So, we've got a camera there, camera there, camera up there. Yeah. So, so. you know, hopefully you can um, see the different cameras. Um, on the screen, he says. <laughs> um, it's not quite working as I wanted it to. Um, but there it goes. So it says that there's a delay, I think. Right. Um, so, okay, right. Um, so, questions wise, we've had some questions come in. We're going to answer them. What we're going to do today is we're going to answer these questions. We're going to then do. Um, a premiere our new video so we launched a video yesterday which was our american airlines first class um video so that, that seemed to go down really really well um so we're going to launch a second one this weekend uh which is about the hotel we stayed at when we was in chicago which is um the virgin hotel so a really really interesting hotel because it was the first of its kind in the world wasn't it yeah which well yeah when we when we first visited um chicago this hotel was the, was the only virgin hotel in the world but literally, I think the last week or so, they've, they've actually uh, opened a brand new one in San Francisco. And uh, typical 
of the Virgin brand. It's not your usual style of hotel, so it was something a bit different. So that's why we enjoyed doing a review of it. Yeah, it is. It's typical Virgin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, Virgin's really loud and and, and brash kind of, and brash and flamboyant yeah. and. You know, and uh, I love actually to be yeah. fair. <laughs> so you basically, know? that translate that translates uh, quite well from the airline to the uh, to the hotel. And funnily enough, I've actually got a Virgin hotel pen. That wasn't planned, but which which camera on here? That one. That one. Sorry, so yes. yeah, there you go. <clears throat> He's so not yeah. a geek in the slightest. No, no. So, uh, so there's that many cameras. I don't know which camera we're on. Yeah, but I've been told we're on this one. So, um, them really, we? yeah, so welcome to Darren, welcome to Chris, how are you guys doing? Um, hopefully, you know, well, Chris is the first time I think you've joined our Facebook Live, so welcome. Yeah, Darren. Live, live from India. I know, live from India, yes, I know, seriously, we are, we are truly global today with our followers, yeah. so. And then we've um, got Darren from Jacksonville. That's from Darren, Jacksonville, yeah, so any, any, any NFL games today, Darren, or are you just chilling at home? What's the plans? Hey Kev, how we doing? Welcome. Yeah, someone a bit more local. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jacksonville, India, Hollingworth. <laughs> so for anybody who doesn't know who we are, um, you know, we'll put our names on the screen so you can you can you can see us. Um, so um, yeah, so we're gonna do a, a video prime. We're gonna ask some questions first. Hey. <laughs> Right, so, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you this question. So, Ryan, what's the world's busiest airport? I think it's Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. And who, who's, whose airline's there? Uh, well, it's Delta Sub, isn't it? Ah, right, okay, okay, right. I don't know why, so the piece of trivia there, I think that was from Maria, who wanted to know that, so uh, I don't know whether she's planning a trip that's taken uh, through the States and she wanted to know. Um, but it's funny because not many people seem to go to Atlanta, but the, a lot of people change planes there. So yeah, that, yeah. That's why it's that's why it's one of the busiest hubs in the world. Yeah, and I guess if you live in the states, that's probably you know you, you probably can't really fly anywhere on Delta without flying through there. I'm guessing, can can you? Um, probably not. Sure, actually. Yeah, it's what well, it's their biggest hub. That's where they're from. So right, okay, okay, um, right, okay. Um, what's the most common travel savvy item you take with you when you go on holiday? Don't know. Probably USB plug. I guess. Because you, you know, actually, no, because we you because know, we're always trying to like charge everything and and on the go. So I think that's that's probably the one thing that I'd take. Yeah, yeah, we have we because yeah. I've got I've got one in my crew bag as well. So for those of you that don't know, I'm I'm cabin crew, so I'm home every night pretty much. But I still always carry a USB plug in my bag in my bag just in case because you never know where you're gonna get stuck. Yeah, and, and to be fair, because we have iPhones, we've got iPads, we've got Mac, everything's on Apple and everything's by USB. So we've got all these things that kind of, you can put like four or five USBs in one and then just plug it into the wall and it, and it charges everything together, which is really handy. For me, it's this. So it's a power bank. So it, when you go away and you, you want to charge your phone up or camera or whatever it may be, as long as it's got a USB connection, you can plug it straight in here. And there's enough charge in this to charge, I think, three or four phones fully. So it's quite powerful. And it's that big, sits in your bag, and you never have to worry about looking for a plug. So there's a good tip there for... Um, oh, hang on, hang on. So Ellen Woodacre, she wants a shout out. She wants, <laughs> she wants Barnsley. She wants Barnsley mentioning. And for the so people that are there. So Ryan's from Barnsley. So anytime that anyone wants to originally, mention Barnsley, originally. Barnsley's like, whoop, whoop. Aren't you? So, yeah. So Helen, Helen used to work with Ryan. Yeah. So how is how is Barnsley, Helen? How is it? How's the weather? Have you had any pies today? That's Wigan. <laughs> is that Wigan? Okay. Yes. What what's Barnsley famous for then? Coal. Coal. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. How's, how's the coal fire then, Helen? Yeah. Okay. Um, next, Sam. Sam just joined us as well. Okay. Hey, Sam. How are we doing? Um, right. Next question. When you go on a cruise, how do you pack your suit so that it doesn't crease? Well, that's just easy, isn't it? I mean, well, no, it always does crease. We, we always put them in suit carriers, but it, You've got still, to... it, still, it still creases, well. Yeah, I think, yeah, so I, but I think, well, I guess what the question, the question I think is, is what's the best way to transport a suit so it doesn't get too creased, I think. So in, it, it, in, in a suitcase, in a suit carrier. Yeah, so 
it's not just that though, is it? So it depends on how much luggage you've got to go on board the plane with as well. So um, you may, if, if you can take two or three items on board the, the flight with you, then great, a suit carrier is perfect. But if not, then what we do is we put it in, we put it in a suit carrier, then fold it up on top of the case. Um, and then when we get on the ship, we can just give it a little bit of a steam and it could, any little creases come out of it, so it's dead easy, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately yeah. speaking, you're not allowed a steamer on a cruise ship. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So or an iron. yeah, we, we officially we don't take anything like that on board at all. But but I mean we always we always put stuff in uh, behind anyway when we're on the cruise if there's stuff that really does need doing. But just for like t-shirts, if you just because the bathrooms on a cruise are really small, if you put in the shower cubicle, if you hang if you hang your clothes up in the um, just on the outside of the shower cubicle, turn on the shower, put it on so it's red hot, and then close the close the um, the bathroom door. That steams all your clothes really well, I find. It does, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly so. I mean, normally when we get on board, the first thing we do when we get into the room is we, we just unpack the clothes and then we've got a bag of laundry ready to go straight out to get steamed tonight, don't we? For, for the night. Yeah. So it is, it is like, um, <clears throat> you know, it just kind of create. It's just so we've got stuff ready on the go. So, right, yeah. okay. What else? Have we got any questions come in? No, but it's rainy in Barnsley, apparently. All right, thanks for the update, Helen. It's nice, it's quite sunny in Manchester. So anyone got any questions on, on, the, uh, on the live, then obviously uh, type them in. What else have we got? So we've got another question here from someone, I don't know who it is, but what do you think Andre. is... Andre, yeah. I think, I think he's in Argentina, actually. All right, okay. Hello, oh. hello, Andre, if you're watching. Uh, so his question is, uh, what do you think is the best kept secret in terms of travel destinations? God. Um, the best kept secret... Um, Hoi An in Vietnam. Yeah, Hoi An's really nice. It's a light, it's, it's like an ancient merchant town. Yeah. Um, we went there about 18 months ago. So uh, yeah, that's a nice little town. It's got a lot of, uh, is it Japanese or Chinese influence? Um, Can't remember now. I'm going to say Chinese, but... Chinese, you know, I think. Don't yeah, quote yeah. me on that, but... Yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful town, wasn't it? It was yeah, really, yeah. really quaint. We did like a bike ride through paddy fields and stuff like that. And, the town was just beautiful, dead picturesque and stuff like yeah. that, and it was, you know. And there is actually a Globe Guys video, so if you want to go and have a that look. That is true. That is go true. and have a look. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So can I just can I just check is sound and vision vision still okay? Any problems with it or anything? Um, let us know. Hopefully, it's all okay. No Rachel, Rachel says hello. Hello, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> oh, Darren says Chinese. There you go. So. Darren knows everything. He does. He knows everything. He's always been on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, where's Travis today? Is he? Is he? Is he still in bed or is he busy? Or he won't still be in bed, will he? You know, we might be. I didn't go up till. Well, that's true. Yeah. One o'clock. Yeah, but you didn't get home. You didn't get to bed till four thirty, did you? To be fair. Yeah. So, right. Okay. Next question. What have we got? So next question. Uh, do you have a favourite airport, and if so, which one? What and why? Sing Singapore. Yeah, probably Singapore. Singapore has put such a good airport. Changi Airport in Singapore. It is really good, isn't it, to be fair? Yeah. Um, it's just like the thought of everything you need in there. And I think it's, it's even got a swimming pool, I think. I'm pretty sure we saw a swimming pool there. It's got, it's got everything. It's, yeah. I mean, even expand. I think it's got... Um, I mean, it's got a bit of a rainforest in there. It's got... It, yeah. it's, it, it's crazy what the stuff it's got in there. Um, so, and it's huge. You literally could spend two days in, in Singapore airport and just wandering around and, and actually have some, something different to do every single hour, you know? Oh, he's in Wisconsin, is he? He's right, in Wisconsin, okay. yeah. Helen says there is a bit of a delay. Three minutes. She reckons it's a three minute delay. You're, you're seeing them about three minutes after I send them a little delay. Okay. But yeah. Right, okay. I think, I think it might be Helen. I think I might, we might be kind of... I think I think I might be seeing your comments a little bit later than, than yeah. what it should be really. So I think that might be where it is. I mean, type something right now and then let's see if it comes through, and then we can get get good gauge how long it takes. Okay. I've only got so. one. I've only got oh, four people watching this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. So um. So, so yeah, so Singapore. Question? That's that's probably yeah. That's probably our favourite airport. It's yeah, definitely not Manchester so. Airport anyway. No. It's not great at the minute, but they are. They are practically rebuilding Manchester Airport, so hopefully we might actually get an airport to be proud of. Um, 
How adventurous are you with, with food when travelling? <laughs> mm. uh, well, no, no, I don't no, think, no. think we're that adventurous. We're not fussy eaters, but I don't think we're that adventurous when we, when we go travelling. Put it this way, you'd never get yeah. as... So, Helen, we've got your comments. Sorry, I didn't see actually your landing, yeah. but, um, but we, 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 it's come through. Hi, Mark. Hello, so, Mark. we carry on. So, yeah, um, street food, for example. I can never imagine me having street food. Mm, don't know. See, Ryan's more adventurous than I am, if I'm being honest. So, I, I'm, quite, um, I'm quite boring. So, um, not as boring as some, I may add, but, um, but the street... So, Thailand's, you know... Uh, and we not, well, neither of us have been brave enough to try the street yeah. food. Some people love it. Some people, you see people just, they, they gravitate to it and they have no problems going to it and, and eating it. Obviously, we never see what they're like then 12 hours later when whatever they've eaten decides whether it wants to come back out again or whatever. We've no idea, to be fair. But, you know, we just don't, we just don't want to try it, do we? It doesn't matter where we are in the world, though. We always hunt down a Chinese restaurant. Uh, not Chinese restaurant, Italian, Italian restaurant, sorry. Yeah, so Italian is global. You know, in it completely, to be fair. And I, I think one of my favourite meals in an Italian restaurant that I ever had probably was in Washington, where we had, um, is it lamb shank lasagna? Oh, God, yeah, and yes, lamb, yes, it was. Lamb shank lasagna. I never had it since, so have we? Yeah. I can, um, I can just about remember whereabouts in Washington it is, but I couldn't tell you where it is. Oh, the live image has stopped. Oh, is it, is it, is it back or is it still off? Let us know, is it back? I think you might have been a bit too overcomplicated with this. Well, you know me, I do like to be technological. I know, I know, but, but um, you know. But Darren, just let us know, am I back on? Are we back on? Hopefully we are. Give it a second. Um, so... Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, so lamb shank lasagna. No, it yeah. was beautiful actually. To be yeah, fair. it was. It was. Okay. What else have we got? Um, so next question is, how do you manage to fly in business class so often? Right. Okay. Um, just came back. Cool. Okay. Good. Um, so did you get that question? So if I have another question, um, Hi, and this was yeah. So how do you manage to fly so often in business class? So contrary to, contrary to popular belief, yeah, we, we, haven't, not, we haven't won the lottery. Yeah, right? we're not millionaires at okay, all. Okay, we, we haven't told anybody. We haven't got the secret stash under our mattress or anything like that. It's nothing to do with that at all. Um, so there are, there, are two, there, are two, there are two ways that we do this, right? So um, one is we collect uh, points, air miles, whatever you want to call them. All right, so, so we use our credit cards, right? So mainly American Express, if I'm being honest. Um, although other credit card providers are available, um, but we use American Express, okay? Um, and what we do is we, we put as much on those cards as we possibly can. And we have to choose a card because what you do is you get a, a bonus of points when you hit a certain spend threshold. Um, and you accumulate these points, right? And eventually you get enough of them and you can use them to then buy, in effect, a seat on a plane. Um, so that's the miles perspective. And there are very different deals with different cards. Some it's just points, some you get, you get a travel voucher. Um, and we have this, so basically with British Airways uh, and American Express, we, we have what we call a companion voucher. So we buy one seat with, with the Avios that we've collected. The Avios is the air miles. Um, and BA then give us the second seat free and it is as simple as that so we just pay the tax so and we all we have to do then is pay the tax on the flight yeah. so so we the, the challenge is finding what you have they call the reward seat um but which is basically the seats that you can book with points so you have to kind of we find we have to book them quite far in advance to make sure that we get them um and we buy one with points and they give us the other one and that's why we, that's how we do it isn't it? And then the second yeah. way we do it is to... And, and well, yeah, and then we just look out for really good deals as well. So we never pay over the odds for business class. And, um, but yeah, mainly through the different credit cards that you can get. And some countries have better deals than others. So in the States, they get really good deals on their credit cards. So, um, yeah, 
Um, hello to John. John's just joined us. Hey, John. Um, we've just had a question. Actually, well. can John actually hear us as well? So John is our neighbour. He's literally behind this wall. <laughs> <laughs> so John may also be able to hear us live as well as see us. You know, which could be quite confusing if there's a delay. But anyway, so we go on. But yeah, we got a question from Paul. So he's quite local as well. He works at Manchester Airport, and he says, "Have you ever considered reviewing Manchester and or Sheffield, uh, Liverpool, even?" Two great tourist attractions, yeah. Really good uh, tourist attractions, uh, really good cities in their own right. We do want to do a Manchester video at some point, and we wish we'd have done one this summer as well, because we had really good summer, we had really good weather. It would have been great to have been out and filming the city. So, uh, yeah, it's on the cards, uh, so watch this space. Um, another question, does Ryan's career in the travel industry help with any travel perks? Mm, probably not. No, not really. We do... We do we do use my staff travel, so we get we do get staff travel, but it is just with the airline that I work for. Um, so the uh, EasyJet, the EasyJet. Oh God, I put him. Sorry. Um, anyway, the airline um, is a, is a European airline. <laughs> so Basically, it only really yeah, works. Yeah. It only, only really works, works if you're traveling within if Europe. If you're traveling within Europe or North Africa. Yeah, so not not anywhere long haul, and and the, we tend to go. Um, one hole. We mm -hmm. all the places we go are far, far. We tend to go further afield. I mean, we went to Ibiza, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. But there is yeah. some great places in in Europe that we do want to visit. Uh, there's a lot of Europe that we still need to kind of tick off, I guess. So yeah, it does. It does come in handy, and it is really cheap. When when obviously we only get the the staff rates when the airline thinks it's not going to fill the plane up. But, you know, we've, we have been on some, like, stupidly cheap flights around Europe before, so, so yeah. yeah. There are some perks. And also, when you work for an airline, you tend to get uh, discounted hotel rates as well. Uh, so, um, I have a list of different codes that you, can, that you can use for different hotel brands. So, for example, I have the code for Hilton Hotels, and, and that generally gives us a discount because we're airline crews. So, yeah, you, you do get some perks. And I think the... Um you know, when, cause we tend to go more long haul, that's where we use like the, 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 the points or the deals that we find, um, is kind of the main ways for us to travel and that, you know, I mean, just on the deals point, I mean, you know, I, I just signed up to them. I've got a million emails flying to my inbox every day, but you know, like sometimes we, we, we get deals where in, we in effect buy one and get one free on, on but paying cash for them. So cats are fantastic for this. So, you know, we're, we're going to Thailand in a few weeks and, um, you know, we have to, what Qatar typically have had to do, you've had to go, you couldn't really get a cheap flight from the UK it's because of the tax out of the UK. Um, but although that's changed, to be fair, there's more and more coming through yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But up until quite recently, you've had to go into Europe. So we're going over to Helsinki um, in a few weeks and we're getting a flight to Bangkok from there because that works out a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, just just talking about Qatar and these cheap deals as well that you sometimes come across. So... Um, Qatar Airways have recently bought an airline in Italy called Meridiana and they've renamed it Air Italy. So Air Italy now has a lot of Qatar Airways influence. Um, and every, um, well, basically next year, for many dates next year, they're offering flights from Milan in Italy over to Bangkok in Thailand for, was it £887 return in business class? So £887 return, which probably is what, about $1,300? No, probably not even that to be well yeah maybe 12 13 darren yeah, will tell yeah. us in a minute <laughs> yeah. Go on again. <laughs> yeah 12 1300 dollars so yeah. you know if you can get a cheap flight over to milan and if you're thinking about going to thailand then maybe that's one way to look into it because i mean 887 quid for um for business class is like stupidly cheap so you know and bear in mind that we've paid before in the past we've paid five six hundred pounds to go in the economy to thailand so yeah so yeah that's one to uh, to bear in mind it was okay. Any more questions? Yeah, so we've got another one. Um, why did you develop Globe Guys or why did you launch Globe Guys? I think we had that question last time as well, didn't we? Did we? Uh, yeah, I think so. Sounds familiar. Yeah, so um, why did we do it? So, well, there's, another, there's quite a few reasons really, isn't there? One, we did it personally just for us because it was great. It started off as just a, a method. Just a bit of fun method of us to um just to kind of store, where we'd be. Yeah, store yeah, all yeah. our kind of holiday videos and stuff like that and maybe just kind of just yeah but that was basically yeah. the, the, the main reason wasn't it because yeah we take so many like little videos of what we get up to and stuff and then they just sit on the mac 
but when you put them all together into into a video of, of your day or of the trip, it, it becomes a lot more watchable and a lot more engaging to watch, I guess. Yeah. So, but what what we discovered was that you know there's um people are really keen to you know when you look on YouTube, so the, you look for kind of reviews of flights or reviews of hotels. Hotel reviews are really hard to come by or kind of quite difficult on YouTube. Yeah, it's strange really because, you know, we all go away and we take videos and pictures um, of where we've been, but you don't really tend to get that many reviews of hotels um, on YouTube, like I would say, which is ironic really because there's lots and lots of flight reviews so there's lots yeah, of people that go around the world and they travel on various different airlines, various different classes, and, and they film the review and they film the flight. But you don't really get that with hotels. I'm not sure why, really. So we, we, what we discovered was that there was a, real, there was a gap for definitely hotel reviews. Because um, pe people, you know, people want to know before you go away. You, you, we all look on TripAdvisor. That's been the kind of go-to source. Yeah. But... But TripAdvisor it doesn't do videos really. It's just pictures and words, obviously. Um, and we do in, look. We when we when we when we go or when we're planning the trip and we're looking for a hotel, we do use YouTube or we try to use YouTube to to kind of have a look at the hotels. Yeah. And sometimes we do struggle to get decent videos. Yeah, it's like it's a bit of a written on a Friday night, so we yeah. you know it gets the end of the week, um, you know, and we'll whatever trip we're planning, we'll go on YouTube and we'll always look for hotels or flights or other videos and stuff like that to, to watch to get a sense before we actually book a hotel you know we always try and do that and it's really quite hard for on youtube so so we had a bit there was a bit there was definitely a gap for all that type of stuff yeah. so we wanted to do we, we thought okay well let's start to try and put some out a bit wider um but then people started asking us questions about various things and and, and it, and it kind of just kind of grew a little bit into kind of you know what what we're trying to do now is trying to grow this so that we can do more to, to show you more. So, you know, the, the bigger the Globe guys get, the more opportunities that, that'll present for us to go to different places and see and review different things that we can then create the video content and the live streams and the, the photos and the various things uh, of so that we can show you. And the aim then is that that inspires you guys to maybe want to do something that you haven't thought about or um, we're really keen to, to know about. And we can shape it. You can help shape it. So you know, by being part of Globe Guys, you can tell us the kind of things that you like and the kind of things that you'd like to see when we go to places. And we can try and make sure that we see them for you and, and, and feedback as to what we thought about it. You just know. Uh, change the subject slightly. Just hello, Travis. Um, Helen, Hi, Travis. Helen says, uh, like, the, uh, like the Thailand flight trip, what's the best tips for flights to the UK? US. I go a lot to visit. Oh, USA, sorry. I go a lot to visit relatives. Um... If you want to mess around um, a little bit, why not fly to Dublin and BA or, or maybe Amsterdam and BA offer, offer some really good deals. So it, but wait, it, involves, it involves going to somewhere like Amsterdam or somewhere like Dublin and then flying back into Heathrow before then you fly out to uh, the States. Yeah, so, so Helen, you may or may not know, so ta taxes out of the UK tend to bump the price up quite a bit, right? So yeah, we pay a hell of a lot of tax. On our flights, yeah, you know, and so you can pay like four or five hundred pound out of the UK to go to leave to departure tax on on it. But if you're like departing from somewhere in Europe, you might only pay fifty quid, hundred quid. You know, it's it's ridiculous what we pay in the UK. So Helen, so there's a couple of things I would say. So definitely, what Ryan says, consider flying to Ireland and flying out of Dublin or somewhere like that, or also out of Spain. So Iberia has got some really, um, really good competitive deals right now over to the States, as do uh, Lufthansa in Swiss. So check out them as well. And there's actually a link to Lufthansa in Swiss deals on our website. So www. Swiss are a really good airline as well. In Swiss are a very good airline. Yeah, we've flown with Swiss before. You know, um, you know, and it's, um, but you can do some really good kind of flights across to uh, the States if you want to fly to New York or, or something like that. Virgin's also really quite competitive. Uh, at the minute so there's some quite good deals going on there as well so it's so i would suggest so virgin ba uh Aer Lingus or iberia or lufthansa in swiss so there's five or six options to look at yeah, there yeah. i think just going back to the last question as well about why you developed the globe guys um one of the um 
kind of, I'd say, constructive criticisms we get is that we're not in the video no enough. So we're going to try and be in the videos a bit more. But we're also thinking about doing a vlog about a vlog. So we're planning on doing all the di different videos that we're that you're used to seeing on Globe Guys. But we're also going to maybe do little short, more real time videos showing us what we're getting up to as well. So a vlog about a vlog. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Most interesting person you've ever met. That's another question. Right. So we had we, we had so we had so we had a similar question last time on that one because I was I was telling people about uh, when we met the weekend as you do you know when you just can't be flying yeah. in Virgin and he, he's he's there and it was it was it, so we flew on was it the Thursday he'd been to the Brit Awards he'd done the Brit Awards on the Wednesday mm -hmm. and then um, he was going to LA for the he was, for the Oscars. Oscars yeah yeah so um and he performed at that as well so he was on our flight um, there were we were slabs on that weren't there. Yeah, but I don't think there was somebody else that they were fussing over and she she had millions of Instagram followers, but I don't know who she was, I didn't recognise her. Um, but, um, and then there was the two British guys behind us, weren't they? Yeah, across from us, yeah. Yeah. Um, was that the guy that was in, was in Doctor Who or something? Well, no, one of them was in uh, Aven um, the Avengers. Yeah, I recognised um, him anyway. Yeah, I don't know his name. Um, and then the other guy was, I can't remember his name either. Yeah. But the weekend was the main event, mm -hmm. so uh, and he has to kind of say, "Excuse me, but are you using that? Are you waiting for the bathroom?" That was his kind of interaction with me. So that was my, and I had to say, "No, I'm fine. Go for it," you know, because we were at the bar. Um, so that was my interaction with him. But on the way back, so um, but obviously we had more recently Jerry Springer. <laughs> we didn't really say anything to him, but he was he was sat behind Ivan. Yeah, he was quite good to be fair. So mm -hmm. you know, we, we wanted to speak to. Him. I was dying to go up to him and sort of, sort of say, "Excuse me, hello, Mr. Springer. Can I have a picture or hello?" You know, you know. But I, I couldn't pluck up the courage because you know what I mean. But he, he, he apparently does a lot of work in the UK, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he yeah. has. Well, he's had a lot of work in in the UK. Obviously, I think he had a Jerry Springer stage show in London's the West End at one point I don't ah, know if that's right. still going but yeah 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 yeah. Um, and then but then um, totally aside to that then but the, the, the actual person who I did meet and I got a photograph actually is Stephen Gerrard so if anyone ever is any football fans um, then we, uh, we we happened to be on the same flight as him when he flew back from his stint at LA Galaxy uh, and he was coming back to work at, uh, back at Liverpool and he was on our flight so we we um, he was on our flight and he was like, oh my God, where is that? <laughs> so I put it out because, you know, that's why I went up to him and asked for a picture uh, and I got one. Yeah. You know? It was a moody uh, weren't it? He was, he was. He was tired, to be fair. I think he was tired because he, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, and he's probably like, like, oh, please, no one come up to me. But obviously everyone was buzzing around yeah, him, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, it's Stephen Gerrard, for God's sake. Anyway, but, anyway go Darren's got a question anyway. So, so, so he said, uh, what about taking the train to Paris? Um, Eurostar's great, but it only, only really goes from London, uh, so it, it would involve us getting a train down to London from Manchester, which takes about 2 hours 15 minutes, yeah. um, and then getting on the train to, to Paris. If you, um, I guess if you, if you lived in London, then yeah, that's, that's a great option, a great option to do. Bear in mind, but some of the good deals that you get out of Paris so may involve you coming back to London though, so... But it's worthwhile doing it, especially if you get a good business class fare. Um, Ellen says she's learnt something there. She didn't think about avoiding UK tax. So there you go. That's what the Globe guys are for, Ellen. <laughs> yeah, boom. Yeah. <laughs> what else have we got? Uh, we've got um, a question. What do you think is the most interesting city in the world? Oh, God, how do you answer that? There's too many. See? Yeah, there's... there's... Go on, you tell me. What's your favourite? You what's your... Do your favourite um... first. <laughs> I do love Sydney. I think Sydney is such a, it's, it's a great city, it's got such a good vibe to it, but it's also a beautiful city as well. You know, I think, I, th I think there's very few kind of, um, kind of cityscapes that excite me as much as what Sydney Harbour does. So we've, we've been looking up to sail into Sydney before on a cruise ship. And you know, when you see, when you see Sydney Opera House and you see um, Sydney Harbour Bridge, which you've climbed as well, so that that's something that you should really do if you ever get a chance. You know, I I just think it's great. And yeah, it's got a beautiful coastline. You've got Bondi, um, you've got great bars. It's such a cosmopolitan city as well. It's got some great Asian influences to it. Um, 
For me, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney is great. I lived out there, but this, yeah, yeah. But you know, but the rest, the rest, the rest, too far. I mean, Miami is real. I mean, we both love Miami. Yeah, Miami is great. Yeah, you know the um, it. I don't know even where to start it. It just has its own complete feel and, and the ambience of it. And, you know, it gets beautiful weather and it's, 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 it's got a beautiful harbour and it's just, mm-hmm. it's so cosmopolitan and, and it feels dead hip and trendy, you know. And it is, it is the home of cruising as well, so, which is another one of our passions. So, you know, when, when you see all the cruise ships lined up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. some right in my face. Oh, okay. Well, you can't look. That's fine. I'll just move a bit there. Oh, no, okay. Closing the blinds. So, yeah. Um, and then I guess another city, uh, Bangkok. That's another one of our favourite cities. There's just something about it. In part, in places it's absolutely filthy, but it's a crazy city. Um, and if ever you go to Bangkok, try and stay on, stay on the river. So, no, that's even worse. I'm more red now. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's no, that's that's especially gonna get. Yeah. So yeah, Bangkok. Um, if ever you get to go to Bangkok, or, or if, if you're going to Bangkok and you've not booked a hotel yet, our top tip would be to stay on the river. Um, it's a proper working river. There's there's like kind of, um, what do you call those boats? It's not picturesque in terms of like what you see going down the river or whatever, but. It's great just to sit there and just to see everything going on. The hotel we stay at on the river is right on the river. Yeah. Um, so yeah, some good, good tips for hotels. The uh, Hilton Millennium, Sheraton Royal Orchid and the Shangri-La. Yeah, we're uh, yeah. on the river and the, yeah, yeah. the beautiful hotels. The thing about Thailand hotels, if anyone's planning or thinking about a trip to Thailand, then, you know, but you're worried about the expense or, you know, money's a bit tight. Thailand is really, really reasonable uh, reasonably priced when it comes to hotels, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Really is, and you can yeah, get yeah. you can get a really standard a standard of hotel for a very very um, relatively cheap price. You know what you what you would pay for five star in Thailand, you probably you could go to, you probably would get three star in New York, for example, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or, you know you can get a really really good standard of hotel. Um, so we're, we're going to Thailand in a few weeks, aren't we? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll be doing another, we're going to do another uh, live event from there. So watch out for that one. Um, but we'll show you the hotel that we stay at um, and you can get a sense of what it's like as well. You know, so that's good. What well, else have you like LA just as before? Were you like LA as well, didn't you? Oh, I, I love LA. Because we, we were there. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd question, that one, because it's just. There is so many. Yeah, well, there's, there's, many, there's so many different reasons why. But the LA one is really good, only because of the fact that you know we, we were there. For, we we the first time we went together, um, we were there for the Oscars, and it, that was purely by fantastic luck that we happened to book the flight. Um, yeah, the only, the only in the way yeah. we was in there the weekend before. So we we arrived on the Thursday night, um, or Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, as the Oscars was happening on the Sunday. And then we got on our cruise on the Monday, and it just happened to work perfectly. Yeah, we, we didn't realise that, that no. the Oscars were going to be on that week. And uh, the only reason we actually kind of realised was because the hotel prices were really we'll expensive. Out um, so the only reason we, we knew, well, we found out, found out that it was going to be Oscar weekend when we were there, um, was because the hotel prices were quite expensive. We just kind of put two and two together and we double checked, and yeah, that's it. It was, yeah, it was the Oscar weekend. So that was a little bit of luck. It was. And yeah. but on the Oscar weekend, so I, I love my films, right? So um this was like a massive buzz for me. So um we, we were there and we didn't we didn't never expected that we'd be able to get uh in, inside the theatre. So the Dolby Theatre where it's filmed and everything like that. So we thought, oh well, there'll be loads of barriers and stuff like that, you'd be able to look at it, take a picture of it and whatever. But you actually could go in it. Um so this was on the f- Saturday was it Saturday, the Saturday yeah, before yeah. so the Saturday before the office on the Sunday right we we've been and done a we we did our own we did a city tour on a Friday and we did our own thing on a Saturday um but we went down to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and it was all kind of thingied off and all the the kind of big TV sets and all everything you see on TV was all there but then we realised that you can actually go into the theatre um you couldn't go up the steps into the actual auditorium but you could you could stand at the bottom of the stairs. The red carpet was there. This is where the, all the celebs were going to walk up and into the theatre. And I was just like, oh my God. Um, 
So it was like, right, okay, so that was like a, a massive thrill. And then on the Sunday, we went down um, to actually uh, watch them all arrive, you know. Um, we, we had about six hours there, didn't we? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, right, 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 I wasn't that bothered, but he actually, you did enjoy it. No, no, I did enjoy it, yeah, yeah. The sun was, it was baking, no, actually. It was, yeah, it was hot. You know, and you have this big mesh, this big, I don't know, what, 15 feet? This big, massive metal fence that goes all the way around to stop, you know, us low lice from getting anywhere near the important <laughs> people. Um, so, you're trying to look through this, this mesh that obviously is all diagonalized, so you never get a clear shot. So, do you want to tell um, me who we saw then? Yeah, so, okay, so we saw Matt Damon, we saw. Uh, Reef Witherspoon, we saw uh, Christian Bale, we saw Chris Evans, we saw Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester which is probably the, 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 the kind of the, 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 the piece of resistance, wants it to be fair. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hardy, we saw him. So when we say we saw him, so we were, we were behind this fence and they're all pulling up in the limos in front of us, getting out, sorting themselves out, We've got all the laggers on, kind of say, oh yeah, hey, it looks great, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then walking them to the, the, the queue actually, which is bizarre. So they, they then had to queue to go down the red carpet. So there actually was a big a big line, you know, probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a hundred people easy in this queue. And you've got Sylvester Stallone, Reese Witherspoon, Tom Hardy, all queuing up <laughs> to walk down the red carpet, which is quite a surreal thing, because you just want to think that, but I guess in an event like that, you've not really got a lot of choice. Um, so that, Despite this metal fence, we were literally maybe what, 25 meters away yeah not not yeah, not, far, not, not far at all i have actually got some videos but we had again so you know, for whatever reason the microphone didn't work on the day so all you hear is buzzing but you can see um you can see the people um so at some point we'll share that so you can actually uh, you can actually watch that we've got some more we've got another yeah, we're question so do you maintain a loyalty to one of the uh, large hotel chains hilton 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we so, have stayed in a lot of Hiltons. So, okay, so, um, yeah, so when you, you talk about the change of state, I know that's pretty So, more. well, yeah, well, so we stayed in a lot of Hiltons before, and I guess Hiltons do vary depending where you are in the world. Uh, so we stayed in some really nice ones, some that are just, just average hotels, um, which is strange, really, because it, it's one brand. You'd think they'd have a very consistent offering, but I don't think that's really the case. But yeah, the, we've mentioned before, I think on the last live that we did, the hotel in Tokyo, the Hilton. That's a really nice Hilton that we stayed in. Uh, bye, Helen. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you, Helen. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, we're staying in a lot of Hiltons, but I don't think we have a, a natural allegiance to a hotel chain, do we? No, I don't think we do. But I think that the Hilton one, is, it's, a, it's an interesting one because, so again, with, with some of the credit cards that we use, you get... Um, that, that comes with some perks sometimes, and American Express is, is one of those types of cards, the Platinum card particularly, um, where you automatically, when you, when you take out one of these cards, you automatically get status in, um, in a number of hotel chains, and Hilton is one of them, Shangri-La is another one, uh, Starwood is another one, um, no, Starwood's not another one, is it? Yes, it is, sorry, yes, yeah, Starwood's another one. Melia um, will be another chain, the Radisson chain in Radisson Group as well. Um, but what that means is, so when you pitch up at the hotel, if you've got status, that or the, status or status, as as friends say. <laughs> then the, it, it, it gives you some perks. So that you might get um, uh, an upgrade to a different room, a better room. Um, you might they might give you free breakfast if it's not already included in the rate. Um, you get a different level of service, it's much more personal. So in Hilton, the reason why I kind of bang on about Hilton is, you know, it, so use Bangkok as an example, you pitch up there and they take anyone with uh, status, they take to a, a dedicated private check-in area, which is a nice little area with all flowers all around it. You've got this one-on-one -on -one person who is checking you in. You, you know, you don't go anywhere near the main desk here in any way, no. shape or form. And then you whisk straight upstairs to your room or to the lounge. And in Tokyo, um, we actually had an email from, from the manager beforehand, didn't we? We did, we did, yeah. So Asking, we, asking if we've got any special needs or anything, or if there's anything that they could do for us prior to us arriving. And it's, it, it's, it's dead nice. So this, this was not, it wasn't a chain email or anything like that. This was a guy who sat down and suddenly we were due to come to his hotel and he reached out to us. Um, so um, 
we got this email and I was like, all right, look what we've got. And it, it was quite a long email and he was sort of saying, no, we can't wait for you to come to our hotel and there's anything we can do, blah, blah. And it was just, it, it made us feel really, really nice and really special. So that's the Tokyo Hilton. Um, so shout out to the Tokyo Hilton um, and the great that, the great service they provided to us. Um, and we're going to put a blog up on our website about it actually soon. Um, so, you know, so on the website, um, we've only got what? Okay. <laughs> on the website we've got our blog um, where we, we're actually putting more and more stuff on there and some content and that, that, that starts going to start to give you a bit more of a story about um, the places that we go to and the videos that we, we, we put up live okay any more questions um, best beach you've ever been on oh god right okay um, well to me that that be the one that we went to recently was was great yeah yeah you know that was really nice then you've also got megan's bay in st thomas in the caribbean yeah that's true so i'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna find a picture of the the one that i guess will be my favorite um but megan's bay so where, where's that just tell me where that is uh, megan's bay so megan's bay is in st thomas uh, in the uh, u.s virgin isles or u.s virgin islands in the caribbean and this picture that um, Ivan's about to show you is a beach in, in Ibiza. I can't remember now what the beach is called. I know it's about maybe 10 minutes up from San Antonio. Yes, yeah, so we've been to San Antonio earlier, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then... Um, uh, uh, Cala Salada. Cala Salada Cala Salada beach, beach, yeah. So hopefully you can see that on the screen now. Um, so we had to climb up. It certainly is not the beach to go to if you um, if you're not of if you're not active and uh, in perfectly sound. Yeah, you've got to get like a big rocky path. That you've got to climb. Yeah. Over. So you know it's definitely needed in that respect. But if you can if you can do it, you can see that you can see the type of views that you get. Um, if you can uh, make it up there, and it, like I say, it's not a question of me. I say making it up there. It wasn't that. It wasn't that arduous. It was just you just need to be steady on your feet, basically. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I think I think. It's very similar answer to the, you know, kind of most interesting cities you've been to in the fact that different reasons, you know, there's different beaches for different reasons. So, yeah, Castle Ada in, in Ibiza is beautiful. Um, Megan's Bay in St. Thomas is actually one of the uh, best beaches in the world, according to National Geographic. I think that was, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that um, was. Bondi Beach, because it's just so famous. It gets really crowded, but it's iconic. And then... Maho Beach in St. Martin, so that's in the Dutch uh, Antilles, and um, Maho Beach is actually the one where, where the planes come in really, really low, so um, being a plane geek, that has to be up there for me. Yeah. Although I think the it's actual beach, now, yeah, I think the beach actually got um, washed away in the hurricane last year, was it Hurricane Irma, was it? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, yeah. but um, hey Alan, how are you doing? Um, so hopefully you can see the picture of the beach on on, on there with the plane. You know it's uh, it's definitely a, uh, a if you, if you like your yeah. planes, it, it does feel like the planes landing on top to be of fair, you. Even non-plane geeks always go there. Yeah, that's true. So you just like because you you're totally immersed in the fact you've got this beautiful beach and everything, and it's quite steep in it off the beach yeah, into yeah, the sea. Yeah. But you've got these planes over your head and stuff like that, and it, it's just fantastic. And you, when the big jets are taking off. Right, everyone wants to hang on to the fence. So there's a big fence there, and everyone wants to hang on to the fence to feel the force of the jet engines. It's quite a famous, popular thing to do, but also quite dangerous. Yeah, it's very dangerous. You know? yeah. So we, we, we Glow Guys wouldn't recommend that. Um, we, we have been part of it. We've not hung on the fence. Yeah, we've not fenced it. No, we, we've, um, no. we've been on the beach and been buffeted, in, in, and it's so sore when the sand blows up and hits you. Yeah. Right, and the, I guess yes, a lot of the a lot of the pilots, and especially a lot of the local pilots that are based in St Martin, love um, going to the end of the runway, putting on takeoff power on the engines, but keeping the brakes on. So that kind of um, kind of blows everything around a lot longer than what it would do if you just kind of turn off the runway and just went. So uh, they seem to quite enjoy doing that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and show you the video actually, um, if I can. Um, so just. Like just I put it on the on the other side so you can see it. So just watch this.
and I mean, you know, Sam being blown up by a jet engine when it hits you is not, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a nice feeling, is it? To be fair, I wouldn't mean? say it's uh, New York, but last minute or early for best deals. Um, oh, do I, you think, know, I think for flights, you would always book the flights as soon as you can. I think, yeah, Generally. I think it's trying to. Um, there's no right or wrong answer, Alan. So. It, Right now, there's been, there's been a real flurry of deals that have come up quite recently. New York has been really cheap, so you could have gone to New York uh, with Virgin for about 320 quid um, recently uh, in, in economy. Um, the states have become really competitive <laughs> recently because of Norwegian. Yeah. So Norwegian is like a European low-cost airline that's taken the, the uh, low-cost um, you know, low concept long haul. And they seem to be doing quite well on the face of it. And they're offering a lot of good deals. And that's kind of encouraging other airlines like BA or the incumbent airlines to, to offer some good deals as well. So I think, I think it's just a case of uh, shopping around. Have a budget, shop around. Uh, as for hotels, um, I mean, I think, I think New York can be quite expensive for hotels. Yeah. Generally. So I think, just back on the flight, so I think very, very, right now, if you're looking to book, it depends when you're looking to go, so if you actually are looking to go to New York right now, then I would look at um, Virgin um, out of the UK, but also look at uh, Iberia and Aer Lingus. So Iberia out of Madrid, so it would mean you're having to fly to Madrid, but there are some really, really, really uh, competitive prices out of Madrid over to the States right now. Um, and likewise an Aer Lingus out of Dublin. Yeah, and the good thing about flying out of Dublin is you get pre-clearance, so you, you do all your um, immigration formalities in Dublin whilst you're waiting to board the plane to New York. So you land into, into New York as a domestic arrival. So, yeah, there's, so you're straight. And there, those of you that probably travel to the uh, States quite a lot will know that it's, uh, depending which airport you're flying to, it can be horrendous in terms of queues and lines for getting through immigration. So you avoid all that by doing pre-clearance in in Dublin. So it is horrendous. That, that's a really good, uh, that's a really good uh, advantage of doing it that way. I mean, it, it is for for anyone. Who, well, I think it's it's not just UK people going to America, but just generally immigration in the states it can be a nightmare. Sorry to our American followers, but it, it certainly New York can be horrendous. You know, Miami. It's been we've not had any issues in Miami. To be fair, really, have we? Um, I think once it took ages. Right, okay. I think the very first time I went to Miami took a while. But to be fair, to, in, in all, to, in all in honesty, what's happening now is we're getting more of the electronic stuff in. So yeah. right, um, so you go and do your passport there, and it is make, so they are making inroads to make it quicker. Um, I'm going to have to sort that light list for sun out for you, aren't I? Yeah, so, fine. Um, so that's getting easier. So yeah, so Alan, sorry, just a couple of your questions. So Virgin, Iberia, um, or Aer Lingus. And also take a look at Lufthansa in Swiss, because they've got some good deals right now as well. Um, Oh, December 19, right, okay, so, sorry, mate, I haven't looked at the screen, it's hard trying to do all this in one, talk to the screen and look at the screen at the same time, um, so they won't be out yet, that's point one, so um, you're going to have to wait till probably January before flights for December are up, so um, obviously BA starts 355 days out, but they're probably one of the furthest ones, the rest are all a bit later, so... We just need to wait and see what kind of deals come up around December, January time. The good thing for that, though, is is that we get a lot of flight deals in December and January um, that come up for the year. Um, the only thing you'll have to bear in mind is whether the deals actually last long enough to go to December or whether the flyby date is earlier in the year. But like right now, there's loads of deals for the end of the year that go right through to, to kind of March, April. So it's, you know, um, just keep looking and uh, keep checking i don't know whether you, 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 you if you've been on our website we have a section for deals and stuff like that where, where we post flight deals and stuff that we find so that's a good resource to go and check out if you want to and we'll keep that updated um and let you know when we've got some good deals for you <clears throat> all right tom's on yes hey tom <laughs> okay so um what are there any other questions any more questions online anybody else got any other questions so, we've, we've, I think we've been through most of the questions we've had coming yeah. in. So, um, so what we're going to, what we're, so have a think about some questions, but what I'm going to show you now is we're going to premiere our new video. So, this is um, a video that we did when we stayed at the Virgin Hotel in Chicago. So, 
at the time that we stayed there, uh, and until quite recently, it was the only one in the world. Yeah. All right. And the video says that. However, since then, they've actually opened another one in San Francisco. So our video is already out of date in terms of that comment incident. Yeah. So, but even if you're not going to Chicago, if you're going to San Francisco, it's still good to watch this video because I'm sure the hotel, uh, the Virgin Hotel exactly. in San Francisco will be very... Um, very similar yeah it will it will and um so it's very centrally located it's right in the center of chicago all right there's a subway station yeah. or an l station l, which is like right. the elevated railway yeah. within minutes of the door all right um the only bad thing is it's it's very close to trump tower yeah that's the only bad thing yeah so you know if we offend anybody then unfortunately that's just too bad but <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but the, the, the convenience of that L means that you can get to all the main attractions in, 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 in Chicago uh, relatively easily. Do you want to just try and find it on there? It's, it's already queued up actually on the, I think, um, virtually on the queue. Um, what they also have is they have a happy hour every day. So they have a lovely bar area um, where you buy one cocktail um, and you, was it buy one, get one free? Um, or was it? No, no, was it it, no actually, actually, has, it has. Oh, it's completely free. Yeah, yeah. It's completely free. So they've got a, a bar there called the Commons Room, and I think it was an hour or two in the evening. I think it might have been six to eight or something like that. Um, the entire guest, so it's not just those of you, those people that were in executive rooms, the entire kind of guests, or what's the word I can't think of, the, the entire hotel gets complimentary drinks. So. And it's it's just a menu, and but there's there's different cocktails, different spirits, different beers and wines, and it's all complimentary for those two hours. So it it was really good. It's really it's a yeah. it's a lovely bar, and I think there was some was some live music in there as well, wasn't there? Um, no, there wasn't. Not one, not in the happy hour, but they, they have a, a, a kind of a they have they have a entertainment on in the evening. Yeah. Uh, they have that bar, but they also have a sky bar as well. I think called Vibe. Um, that they actually I think it was called Vibe. Why did we go in there? I don't think they did, but again, oh, mixed up with different hotels. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm sure they had another lounge with a, with, a, with entertainment on. Um, but it, it's definitely a hip hop in place, you know. Um, the rooms, uh, so the rooms are quite unusual, so... Um, well, you'll see that on the video, won't you? Yeah, it's kind of, the rooms that we stayed at, they're like three rooms in one. Um, they call them chambers, um, so that's really interesting. Um, so in terms of what we paid for that, so people are always saying, well, how much did you pay for these hotels? So, so we pay $200 a night plus, plus the US tax for this. Right, so very reasonably priced. So two hundred dollars is what about one hundred and fifty quidish? Maybe? Yeah, and the room was quite big. To be fair, and it's you'll, huge. you'll see that in the video. It's, it's kind of three, yeah. And so, I think it was that. That was just a. Was that a standard room? Was it? It was. A, it's called a chamber suite. So I think I don't think it was a. It wasn't the. It wasn't the 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 the, the, pre, the best room by any stretch. You know what I mean? There was a number of rooms uh -huh. above and below us. We were kind of middle-ish, I think. You know, so re really quite affordable. Um, so without further ado, we're going to show you the video. So just hang on one second. This technology coming into play again now. So just one sec. Hopefully, don't go anywhere. We will be back. So, but hopefully enjoy the video. The video is about six minutes long. So we shall be back with you then. Go on, click play.
Right guys, we're back, sorry. Okay, so that's not worked, is it not, clearly? Hi, we're back. I believe that, that, that didn't work as planned by the sounds of it. I've never had to do just a normal Facebook live. You have to have all the different equipment and everything else and this app that's got all the different video links and it's not quite going to plan. But well, it has in some respects. It's just, you know, I mean, that's, you know, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't to be fair. So um, apologies that video clearly didn't work. So um, we'll have to look back at that. Um, I, can you hear us okay and see us okay again now? Are we, are we back okay? Someone let us know. Yeah, I think, I think we are. Yeah. Are we all okay? Yeah, hopefully we are. Somebody will say yes in a second, I'm sure. So, um, Darren says he's watching by Facebook. Facebook. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so cool. Okay. So, all right. So the video will be live on YouTube uh, or live on Facebook um, after this uh live event so I'll, I'll make sure that goes live so you can watch it at that point in time um if you're watching on youtube it'll be live on youtube at 6 p.m this evening um so you can watch that then as well so it'll be live on both platforms so um yeah sorry about that so um oh, all's good okay but well, take our word for it it's a nice hotel if you go to chicago you should definitely stay there that was a crook to the video wasn't it <laughs> so okay so what else do we need to talk about so um so I don't think we've no more questions come in. So I think you know the um, you know pe people. I think the, the, the most common things we get asked. I think we we try to answer. Hopefully we have. Hopefully somebody maybe you've learned something. And when you when you when people are watching this back, hopefully you get something from it. Um, you know it is. Um, you know we certainly have fun doing these type of things, don't, don't we? To be fair, it is fun. Well, there's a bit of trepidation about it, but yeah, you, yeah. you love it. I'm still get trying to get used to it. Yeah, no, it, it, it is, it, yeah, but it, is, it has been good fun to be fair. So, um, you know, the key thing for us this time around is we, we tried to do this a couple of weeks ago and we only managed about 20 minutes and the Wi Fi in the hotel kind of gave up on us. So we, we struggled a little bit. Um, but it looks like we're okay. Um, we've been going a good hour, an hour, an hour and a half almost. So, and we're still live, I think. So, bar the issues at the beginning, um, it should all be good. So, so yeah, so for us, what's next now is. Um, we're off to Thailand in a few weeks, um, so we're going to do, um, we'll, we'll do a, we promise to do a Facebook Live from Thailand for you, so um, again, the only, the only caveat I'll, I'll, I'll put on that is just the Wi-Fi, we'll be reliant on the Wi-Fi in the hotel again, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that everything's okay, but you know, we definitely, we will do another live event for you, so we're going to Bangkok uh, and we're going to Phuket. Yeah. All right, so we're also going um, to Helsinki on that trip. Yeah, because of, of like I mentioned earlier, um, the flight deal that we got on Qatar is leaving from Helsinki, so we're flying there for a for a day and a night, mm -hmm. um, quick tour around there, and then uh, jump on the flight. So, so we can't wait for that, can we? So, no. you know, Thailand is one of my favourite places. Three weeks today. That's when we go. That's when we set off. Not that we're counting. Yeah. Not that we're counting. You know, so we've got that to look forward to, and obviously all the videos that will come along with that, we'll be sharing with you guys. Uh, as soon as we can mm -hmm. um, and then beyond that the next trip we've got after that is uh, February March so we're, we're going to South America so to all our South American uh, followers likers subscribers <coughs> we are coming to Argentina well um, Chile, uh, Chile Santiago we're coming to Santiago um, then we're going to Buenos Aires so we're going to Argentina um, and then we're going to um, Rio Sao Paulo and Buzios um, in Brazil so you know we will be there there'll be loads of videos that we're doing about them well again we'll try and find some way to go live if we can again Wi-Fi permitting you know but to all our followers out there we'd love your advice we'd love to know where we should go and where we should see in those places you know and particularly for Rio because we're, we're in Rio for carnival so we're there for the um, uh, the the what we'll yeah, the carnival, the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking forward to that we've not yet bought our tickets we need to sort that out um but um but yeah so um but hopefully any tips will be in any anything that you think we should be seeing in doing whilst we're there we would love to know uh, please drop us a message um and let us know either as a link in this video or uh via a direct message whichever but we'd love to hear from you and just before we go just a quick question from tom he said new york package or uh, build your own trip Build your own trip, I'd say. 
So I, I would say yeah. So the only thing I would say though is look at BA holidays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the weird the weird thing would be the weird but good thing with British Airways is so you can book a flight obviously, but they also have this holiday arm. So on their website, BA holidays it's called, where they actually package you up uh, like three nights or five nights or seven nights plus hotel. And the bizarre thing is that in some circumstances it can, it, it can be like you're almost getting the hotel for free mm-hmm. or for very very cheap. And they also have deals that throw in car hire as well, so it's not just hotels. So if you put the flight as normal, then it comes up, um, gives you the chance to kind of add the hotel. Hello, Darren. So I forgot Uruguay. Apologies. So we're going to Montevideo as well. I apologise to our Uruguayan followers as well. So so, so yes, yeah, so now if you go so British Airways, go go there as well. You're booking the flight, and it will give you the option to add an hotel, and um, you can see then just roughly how much you're paying for the hotel. Uh, sometimes, as Ivan says, it can be really really cheap. It can, it can, can't it, to be fair. So, you know, I mean, you can almost get the hotel for free. So it's definitely worth looking at, Tom. So go on to it. And and when we went to Moscow, actually, I, I kind of just randomly checked a, fair, a business class fare to Moscow. Um, the business class fare was about two grand at that time. And it added on the uh, Ritz-Carlton, and it literally was about £100 a night, which for the Ritz-Carlton, somewhere like Moscow, that was like a steal. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully that top does that help a little bit, Tom? Um, when are you going, by the way? When are you thinking of going there? Is that coming up in the near future? Is he still watching? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I think so. He's only, he was, the question only came in a few minutes ago, so hopefully he's still on. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully let us know. So yeah, so we've got that to look forward to in February, March. And then beyond that, um, it's to probably, well, we do something in the summer. Um, and then there'll be more trips towards the end of the year as well, won't there? Yeah. So... Uh, one of us has a birthday celebration coming up as well, so next year. So, um, we'll we'll have that to plan. So watch watch this space, and we'll keep you posted on that one as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's everything. So I think I don't think we've got um, great. No worries, Tom. Cheers. So I think that's everything we wanted to let you know about. Hopefully, um, you've enjoyed uh, this time with us. You know, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, get looking. Then there's some deals out there right now, depending on when you want to go, Tom. Um, you know, and hopefully, you know, let us know. Do you want us to do this again? Is it is it is it fun for you guys? Do you do you get some value out of it? We'd love to know. Love some feedback. Um, you know, if it's uh, worthwhile, then we'll do more. You know, but if if you don't want us to do, if you want us to shut up and be quiet, then let us know. Tell us. Don't be afraid. We don't mind, do we? No. And from the last um, from the last Facebook live that we did, it seemed to get a lot of views after we obviously posted it on the page. So it's always good to try. If you enjoyed, if, if you're watching this after, if well, basically if you're not watching this live, then why not join us live next time? Because yeah. you know it kind of helps us knowing that somebody's watching, um, and also you can ask questions as well. So if you enjoy watching this and you're not watching it live, then make sure you join us live for the next one. Yeah, and on screen now you can see our handles. So on Facebook we are the Globe Guys. On YouTube, actually on no, Facebook we are Glow Guys, sorry. On YouTube we are The Glow Guys. And we're also on Instagram as well as Glow Guys. So get on there now, subscribe, you know, and so you'll get all our notifications, all our new videos, etc., etc., as they as they come in. Yeah. You so know. follow us, it's on the screen now. Yes, absolutely, you know. And um, new flash graphics for Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, it's all about the flash graphics. So, it's like you know, loose women. You know. I was trying to make it more entertaining and more interesting. Hopefully it has. I mean, I'd love some feedback on that. Has, has this format worked? Has it, has it been interesting for you guys to, to see something a bit different than the normal, just the, the blank screen? Or has it been you boring? Know? Or has it been boring and have you found it really frustrating, the fact that we've not known what we've been doing and we've had lots of technological issues? I don't know. You tell us. But yeah, some feedback, please, guys. Just let us know anything. We don't mind. Good or bad, we welcome it all. So, you know, on that note, I think we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll say goodbye. So yeah. until next time... From Manchester, a sunny Manchester, on the Sunday afternoon. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all again soon. Bye. Bye.